for the last three days, you've heard different ideas on how to effectively open your presentations. You can ask a question, give a startling statement, or a unique fact. You can use a story or call back to other presenters or events at a specific location. Today, you'll get a bonus tip. This is my favorite way to open a speech. Now, I'll tell you, in the beginning, the first few times you do it, it's nerve-wracking. It doesn't feel natural. But I promise you, if you will practice this and do it over and over again, it will be the best way. And it will definitely grab people's attention. They will want to know what happens next. Are you ready? Here it is. It's silence. Yes, silence is the most effective way to open a presentation, and here's why. Think about what's going on in the minds of the audience when you've been introduced and you're walking to the front of the stage. What are they thinking about? The answer to that question is they could be thinking about literally hundreds of different ideas. Yes, they may be wondering how you're going to be as a speaker or what kind of information you're going to provide, but they also could be thinking about dinner plans that night, the next meeting they have to go to at the office, where do the kids have to be for soccer practice, all of those things could be going through their minds. When the typical speaker gets to the front of the room after being introduced, they immediately jump into their presentation. Sometimes they don't wait until the introducer has sat down. So that's an issue. When they immediately jump into their material like that, they don't give you mentally time to adjust to the change that's just occurred at the front of the room. When you stand up there saying nothing and smiling, confidently looking at them, you're going to interrupt their thought patterns. It may take them a few seconds, but at some point they're going to say, what's going on with this person? Why isn't she talking? Why is he just standing there? And at some point, one of two thoughts will enter their minds. Is this person going to start talking? Or, oh, the poor thing, she forgot what she was going to say. Either way, guess what? You've got their full attention. And that's the entire point of this. Once you've used silence to grab their attention, then you can jump into the other types of openings we've talked about. Now, word of caution, the first time you do this, as I said earlier, it's going to be nerve-wracking. You're going to have to quiet down that little voice in your mind that says, oh my gosh, you're losing them, they're going to think you're stupid, you look foolish, oh God, this is going to be a disaster. None of that's true. It's counterintuitive, but the silence is going to pull them in and make them curious. Practice this. Don't go for 10 seconds the first time, by the way. Try it for 2 seconds the first time. Then once you get comfortable, go for 3 four, five, and eventually you'll find that point where you can read the audience and know when you have their full attention and you can jump right into your opening. Try this. I promise you it will work. I look forward to talking with you in our next Daily Dose of Public Speaking Wisdom.